Hello everybody, this is Joe Danier from the Youngstown Computer Show and this week we're doing things a little differently. We're putting together a video presentation rather than trying to explain our uh, performance segment uh, over the radio step by step. So watch the video, send me an email joe at youngstowncomputer.com and let me know how it, uh, it worked out for you. If you prefer this way, if you prefer the old way, uh, either way send me an email. Anyway, we're talking about Firefox and uh, the, the ways that you can increase your efficiency when you're browsing. Uh, as you can see right now, we have Youngstown Computer website open, and I'm going to teach you a couple things to uh, to help maybe get around to your favorite websites a little bit quicker. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the start page. When you open Firefox, it opens to whatever your uh, your your start page is. So if I wanted my start page to be MSN, I would go to the page that I want to come up first, which would be MSN.com. I would go to Tools, Options and then use current page hit the use current page button and we'll change that home page to msn.com I hit OK and when I use this button where I just open the browser it automatically goes to MSN uh, in addition to that we have tab browsing in in Firefox which allows you to open more than one web page at one time here we have the MSN page open and we have a blank document so what I'll do is I'll go to yahoo.com and now I have both web pages open at the same time and I can toggle between the two of them now let's just say I have the same news pages uh, open first thing in the morning and I want when I open my browser both these pages to come up I like MSN I like Yahoo what I'm gonna do is go back to tools options and hit the use current pages button you'll see in this line here it'll actually change it to MSN.com and Yahoo.com now when I hit OK and I hit home both my two favorite pages automatically without me having to type anything in and just a quick note here uh, you saw me type in MSN pretty quick uh, just typing the middle part of a dot com and holding the control key and hitting enter will fill in the HTTP www.n.com. So maybe that'll save you a couple seconds here but when you're going from page to page. Uh, back to Yahoo, type in Y-A-H-O-O, -O, hit control or hold the control key and tap enter. It'll fill in for you. Uh, next thing is the bookmark toolbar at the top. You see we have these bookmarks up at the top. You can add those bookmarks by dragging the little icon dragging the little icon the Y icon if I drag that down next to my finance folder and drop it it puts a link a bookmark to this page up there so it acts as a button now another thing I could do with my toolbar is create these folders if I were to right click on that toolbar and go to new folder it creates a folder I'm gonna call this one news alright now if I wanna if I wanna dock some of these I just drag them and now in my news folder I have Yahoo we'll take Drudge over here and we'll put it in the news folder and now I have these great organized folders up at the top where I can access my favorite websites uh, pretty quickly. And the last thing I'm going to show you here is clearing out your private data. From time to time, um, you're going to want to dump your, your cache, your internet cache. Uh, so under the tools, the tools menu, go to clear private data. Yeah, clear private data. Select that, and your uh, dialog box will ask you what kind of stuff you want to, what kind of stuff you want to dump. Uh, the basic stuff, browsing history, that's the the, uh, the the different sites that you've gone to. Uh, download history, it keeps a list of things that you've downloaded over the last couple sessions. Saved form and her, uh, search history, cache, cookies, saved passwords, and authenticated sessions. Now, the only two that I don't do are cookies and saved passwords. You might want to even do cookies. That that's not a bad one to do. Um, yeah, cookies, what it does is it saves, saves session information. So let's just say you log your into your email account and you put a username and password. The next time you visit that site, it knows who you are and remembers that you were there. Um, that's taking that information from a cookie. So once you dump those cookies, then you're going to have to log back all into those sites again. Um, you may or may not want to. But on the other side of that, some bad cookies get in there and end up uh, doing, you know, not damage, but that pose a security risk. So you might want to dump those from time to time. Now, as far as save passwords go, uh, Firefox saves all of your passwords that you instruct it to save. And you don't really want to dump that unless you have a real good reason to. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to have to re re put in all your passwords again. Uh, so I'm going to hit clear private data. And if you go to my history, you'll see that there's nothing there now. Uh, it's completely clean and ready for you again. So anyway, that's our, our quick segment. Make sure you send me an email, joe at youngstowncomputer.com, and let me know if you enjoyed this, preferred this, uh, see, how, see how it goes for next time. Uh, thanks for watching, and this is Youngstown Computer Show.